Hello and welcome on L'Atelier de la Sentinelle. Today I will speak about the Battle of Libushin. This is a great event in Czech Republic, which happened since 1991. It's the 31st anniversary, the 31st event of that kind, because of, of COVID, obviously. It's a very interesting event as well, because it's a mix of everything in Czech Republic in terms of reenactment. You get both the, the Viking period and up to the 16th century. And uh, it's, it's amazing, because you don't have the occasion usually to meet all those people, and having them all at once allows you to see much more than in regular events. The camp there is divided. There is the camp on top of the hill. You can see there it's a lot of merchants, so there are both tourist shops and food, but also very nice medieval shops with local craftsmen or resellers. And I, I really enjoy this little camp, even though it's less uh, nice than the, the other ones. There is also the camp in the wood with a great uh, coffee shop which was up there and amazing teas there. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any battery when I went there, uh, so I couldn't film. There is also the main camp, and the main camp is much more interesting. It has great groups with, uh, with nice equipment. It's, it's really a showcase of, uh, of the best reenactment Czech Republic has to offer. Unfortunately, I feel that not so many camps are visible to the public, and if they are, there are not so many people speaking about reenactment there, so I think it's maybe a missed opportunity. And this year we didn't come with a camp, so I can't show you the way I would like it to be done, but there are also very nice shops, and they decided to put them there this year, so maybe that's also why we don't see that much the nice camps. There are clothes shops as well as clothes shop. You, you can see some armors as well, some weapons. A lot of very nice things to do reenactment with. Overall, I really like this camp and I let you enjoy a little bit of the videos I took there. Obviously people also come for presentation to understand a little bit more about medieval life and this year the presentation were quite nice. There was a, a little bit about fighting but I didn't really pay attention to that. However, however they had presentation about uh, gunpowder weapons, early ones, so there are all, as well the hand weapons as you can see and also cannons with obviously the whole reloading and uh, explaining how all that works. They brought as well a trebuchet and nowadays there are more and more trebuchet coming to the to the battlefields but it used not to be the case a few years ago so I'm quite happy to see that and see how they, they operate it and how they put the sling together and so on. Yeah I think it's a good addition for people who come there for the first time. I also went to see the fencing tournament which happened this year and uh, usually there is always a, a different event every year 
Last year, it was the, the main uh, Buho tournament, uh, like a, a World Cup Buho tournament. And this year, it was more focused on Hima. It was uh, a tournament to the touch, so there was 1v1 and also 5v5. It was quite interesting, and they also mixed the periods. You had Vikings against later period people. It was really interesting. Overall, I think it's good to mix like that and to have people from all different origins fight with each other to enlarge a bit the, the spirit of community. So I, I really enjoyed the little fights and some were really good at fencing, so it was really enjoyable. I hope you like the pictures here. <laughs> The battle was a bit weird this year. They decided to make quite a quite a big scenario. So the idea was that at each epoch, at each time period, there would be a peasant who would be. Uh, enticed by the spirit of war to go and fight and so those kind of wraiths would bring weapons and armor to him. At the end the idea was that the last peasant who went to war would throw his weapons away eventually and come back to reason and to refuse the war spirit and so it was like the idea was good but in the execution not so much partly because the people didn't really like know where to fit so the periods were a bit mixed in each of the armies apart for the the vikings who were like all together yeah it, it didn't really feel that it was more fight between periods as much as they would have liked so it was a bit of a mess but there was some nice moments in the fights and i hope i managed to showcase them here
After the main battle, there was another battle, a free fight battle if you want. So all the reenactors are fighting at the same time and it's not organized the same way. Basically in this fight you are by groups, so it's not uh, one against every, everybody, but it allows to, to have a bit more strategy like flanking, trying to find the places where you can attack and counter attack and so on. So yeah, it was a, it was a really nice fight.
hope you enjoyed the video. Libushin has a very great ambience. Lots of people are also speaking English and other languages, so it's great for foreigners, and as well it's close from Prague where most foreigners and expats live. So don't hesitate to check it out next year. And uh, obviously, if you could subscribe, like the video, and, uh, and go in my social medias, it would help promote it, and uh, hopefully we'll have even more people next year. Goodbye!